This information is accurate as of March 2024. As creators of art journals, junk journals, collage, and glue books, we are often in search of images for a particular theme. We now have means at our disposal to generate our own images using artificial intelligence image generators. In this series of videos, I'll take a look at three free AI tools at our disposal. This video takes a look at crayon.com, and in this case, it's their version number three. Crayon is spelled C-R-A-I-Y-O-N dot com. This is the page you'll come to uh, when you enter crayon.com into your web browser. You are not required to log in. Uh, we are using the free version. As a result, we get ads on either side as well as in the middle of the page. For purposes of this video, I am going to adjust my screen to eliminate those ads, at least on the sides. The ones in the middle of the screen will still appear. In this text box here, we're going to enter our prompts. It gives you an opportunity to select what style of output you would want, art, photo, drawing, or none. They also give you an option down here to use expert mode, which is basically just an opportunity for you to put in words that you want to exclude from the output. In other words, you can use negative words like blue to get less blue color. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to close this back up. Okay, after many attempts of coming up with a good prompt, I'm going to use the one that I got some pretty good results with, which is a stunning woman in 1860s vintage fashion adorned with ornate crinolines and lace accessories painted in Van Gogh style. You can use punctuation. I find it sometimes helps. Once you have your prompt entered, you click the draw icon. It will take about 60 seconds. You can tell it's working by the pencil moving back and forth. You can also scroll down and you'll get a little bar graph here showing where you are in the 60 seconds. Again, ignore the ads that are appearing. I'll speed this up. Crayon.com will generate nine images from your prompt. And here are the results. Image generated. Also down here, if you're not happy with the results, the program automatically suggests a prompt that you might want to try, in which case you can click try this one. It says an elegant woman in Victorian fashion wearing crinolines and lace, Van Gogh inspired painting. Generate images faster will take you into the um, area where you can log in and pay for uh, a, a paid version, which will reduce the time it takes for images to be generated from 60 seconds down to 45 seconds. 
There's even a higher version you can pay for. I believe it's $20 a month, which further reduces that time down to 15 seconds. If you do use Try This One, it puts the suggested prompt up here where you would normally type the prompts, but you do have to click Draw in order for it to initiate that suggested prompt. I'm not going to do that because I do like some of these images that it generated originally uh, using my uh, first prompt. You'll notice that each of these nine images has a pencil marking that we want to edit it or use that particular picture. So I'm going to select, oh, let's select this one right here, this down in the right hand corner. I'm going to click on the pencil and that opens it a little bit larger. You'll notice that you have this upscale button. You, if, if you want to save any of these nine images, you definitely want to select this upscale button. Otherwise, your image will come out um, in a very small file size, which isn't going to do you much good when it comes to actually using that image. So always make sure you click upscale. And then over here, um, you can save it to favorites if you have the paid version. You can save a link to this image or you can download it in the lower version. So I'm going to go ahead and click upscale. And again, it's going to take about 60 seconds for it to increase that file size. The image noted up here that it has been upscaled. So I'm going to go back into it. I'm going to click the download button right here on the, uh, the third button on the right. That will open up my Windows Explorer. I save all my pictures originally in my pictures folder. It may be different on your computer, phone, laptop. Um, it's saving it as a ping file. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, another nice feature of crayon.com is that it gives you an opportunity to remove the background. In other words, this all this brown here, or, or what it might, what may ever appear uh, on the image. It's called Background Remover. It's also unlimited and free. You can actually bring any image into this feature. It doesn't have to be one that was generated uh, via the uh, image generator. Again, it's taking 60 seconds. Okay, now you can see it's, re it's eliminated. That brown background. It also gives you, uh, you some options as to um, whether or not you want a transparent background, a white background, black, etc. In, in most cases, you're going to want a transparent background because that's going to allow you to bring this image into your photo editor and put any kind of background uh, behind this image that you might want. For example, a layer of vintage text. So I like this. So I'm going to download this. And again, it's indicating that it's a transparent ping file. Save that. So I'm going to close this image out now that I've downloaded it. It brings me back to my nine images. At this point, I could select another image and repeat the process of downloading, removing the background, etc. If you scroll further down, the page. It's showing you examples of other similar type of images you might be interested in that were already generated 
uh, by other people or by the software itself. You can choose any of these. Perhaps this one right here. Click the crayon. And again, it gives you the opportunity to download it as well. I suggest you come in here to the blog link. And there is an article down here by Melissa. How to write the best prompts for AI art generators. It gives you a lot of good suggestions on how to enter prompts that are going to help you generate images that are um, closer to what you're actually looking for. Highly recommend you looking at that article. This link to remove BG allows you to import your own image to remove the background. If you use images created by the free version of crayon.com, they ask that you acknowledge the fact that uh, you did use images from their free site in your projects. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at a third program that's free that will also generate AI images.